hello you're welcome back so in the previous video we deployed our eks cluster using terraform in this video let's validate what we've deployed in amazon um in aws console okay so i'll just go to eks click on elastic kubernetes service and this will take me to the cluster we have provision um so here i'm seeing my eks cluster great and you can see the version um that we added um yeah this is the kubernetes version and we can see that everything is actually in here if i go to resources um we've not created pods yet so this place will be empty we have zero workload if i go to compute and locate the node group we've created this is default but it doesn't matter the desired state is two you can actually in the terraform um, configuration you can just use any uh, naming convention you didn't fit right so uh, we define that the desired size should be two and that is what we have here okay um we are good so let's look for a way to connect and have access to this um eks cluster so here's my terminal i'm gonna be connecting directly from my macbook pro terminal uh, you can decide to have your ec2 instance you can i mean you can connect via your um, ec2 instance okay um all you need to know is to have the command it doesn't matter your os or the terminal you want to use all right so this is um so to call, uh, to install kubectl because we actually need this uh tool in order to communicate with our cluster all right so to install it um i just need to type brew install kubectl okay but i already have it so i don't need to really go ahead to install it again so kubectl version um version client uh there should be dash dash client and this is the version i have the next tool that we actually need is aws um cli okay so we need to have aws cli uh command line installed how do we do that um so it's just to type brew install aws cli um so it will start downloading Let's give that a moment to download. Okay, so it has installed successfully. If I check AWS um, version, yes, you can see um, I have it now. So another um, configuration you need to have before we go ahead to connect into our cluster is to ensure you have added your access key and secret key, okay, to the command line. Um, so you just need to run AWS configure, press enter, um, add your secret key and um, access key over here and your default region, okay. I already have that done. So now let me take you to the documentation that will help us to connect to our cluster. So here's the documentation, connect kubectl to an EKS cluster by creating a kubeconfig file. So we need to create a kubeconfig file, okay? As long as you have uh, successfully added your credential to uh, interact with um, AWS, okay, via API, you can actually um, add this, okay? So let's create our kubeconfig um, file. So all you need to do is to copy this. So copy it. I'll just paste it. So I will need to update this with my region. So my region is US East One, and uh, the name of my cluster is my EKS cluster um let me confirm yes i'm correct okay so with this i'm gonna press enter let's see what happens you can see added new contest 
Oh, great, great, great. Um, now let's let me clear this. And now uh, I'm gonna run kubectl get nodes. Great, status is ready. So these are the two nodes that we provisioned. Okay, so if I take you to um, EC2 instance, we actually have two nodes um, that were provisioned, you know, when we ran Terraform apply. So you can see here we have um, two EC2 instances running. Okay, these were provisioned when we deployed our um, alongside our EKS cluster. Okay, so this will be our worker nodes. And now if I run kubectl get ports, um, I don't have any port here. So all you see is no, ref uh, no resources found in default namespace. And you can also decide to use kubectl cluster um, info in order to view, sorry, to view the information about your cluster. Okay. So that is it for this hands-on tutorial. I have been able to successfully uh, demonstrate how you can provision your EKS cluster via um, Terraform, okay? So you can go ahead and deploy, start deploying your application or start practicing. It depends on why or the reason why you provision this cluster. Thank you so much. If you really got value from this video, please don't leave without giving me a thumbs up, like and share, okay, and comment. If you have any question, I'll be right there in the comment section, okay? Thank you, and I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye.